Hello, Sunshine Families. Miss Mallory here doing a under the sea craft for you this week. This particular one that I'm about to put together is a crab. And most of the crafts that I've chosen or I'm about to show you um, are made with paper plates because most all households have them. I didn't, I had to come to Miss Amanda's house. But she graciously gave me tons of plates to work with. So, this is what we're starting out with. You get a paper plate, cut it in half, color it red, get some red construction paper and cut out legs. Maybe mom or dad or a brother or sister could help you. And then I cut out a couple eyeballs. You glue them onto the body. <laughs> Here we go. Just like that. A little dabble do ya. Beautiful legs. Look at his cute little legs. Now, I'm going to do his eyeballs. Okay, here we go with paper plate craft number two, a turtle. Uh, so I've already colored it green and my assistant, Miss Amanda, cut out, here's a shape for its head. And she cut out some legs with a darker brown and all different kinds of circles and shapes. You don't have to do circles. You could do squares if you wanted to. Same with the head and the legs. Uh, I went with red because so you can see it. Eh, kind of see it. If you have uh, eyeballs, you can put little eyeballs on it. Now I'm going to glue them on. There's his head, looking so cute already. Okay, now these can go anywhere, I think. You can get creative. All animals are unique in their own way, so, you know. Just like us, right? Oh, 
away from me there. I think I'm gonna do a couple on the sides too, even. Your plate might be uh, flatter than mine. Oop, make it easier. Oh, he's coming together quite nicely. Maybe one more. Ta-da! There's our sea turtle. Okay, here we are with our final under the sea craft project. Um, it is going to be a jellyfish. We used a bowl for this specific one, um, but if you only have plates, you could cut a plate in half and use it the same way. Um, I'll give you an example of that later. Uh, so I colored it blue. You can choose any color you want to. And then I gave it some, you know, polka dots because why not uh, for its Tentacles? <laughs> For its tentacles, <laughs> I uh, cut out tiny strips of construction paper and I went with my color theme of blue and red. But you can choose whatever colors you have or whatever colors you want to use. It's up to you. Be creative. Um, if you don't have construction paper, you can use whatever's lying around the house, like ribbon or pipe cleaners, those little fuzzy things. Um, to make the tentacles, tentacles. Okay, so we've already glued a few of them. My assistant, Miss Amanda, glued a few of them to kind of get us started. But if you can see, it's kind of got like a ripply effect. In order to create that, ultimately you are just folding the paper. So I kind of got my little stack of blue, fold it down. Go back the other way. But you can do whatever works and whatever you like. This is just an example, but you can do your own thing. It doesn't have to be exactly like what I'm doing. See, how, how cool is that? Right. So we'll save a couple for our paper plate and then I'll glue a couple in our paper bowl. Oh, thank you. Thank you, assistant. <laughs> and I'm just going to put them wherever. Whatever looks good to you. Isn't he cute? And let's see. So I didn't color this one, but you know, let's use, we can use our imaginations. Just glue them right like that. 